tags in the system are used to group up records regardless of their status and allow you to sort and run reports um, based on them. To create a new tag, you want to go to Customize and then scroll down to the Tag section. You want to click Add Tag and then create a tag name. So this could be, for example, if you're tracking a campaign and you're t you want to tag a certain group of records under this campaign. Once your tag is added, you can add records to it. And you can do it multiple ways. First, let me go to Land Deals, and I'm going to tag a few land records. I'm going to select a few records, and then I'm going to click Tag at the top of the table. This is going to tag the four selected records, and I'm going to click the Tags area and select my Campaign 1 tag that I created, confirm it, and it will add those four records to the tag. Once those records have been tagged, I can click search by tag, select the tag that I just created, and click search, and this will pull up the four records that I just tagged. Another way you can tag records in the system is through the import process. So you want to click on import, and there's a sample list in step one that you can download. All right, in this sample list, I'm going to add two rest records, John Doe and Jane Doe. All right, you'll also want to fill in the required 11 fields of information, which is the address, city, APN, Property County, Property State, and under the field called Tags, you want to enter in the tags that you want to index this property under. The first property I want to index under Campaign 1, and the second one property I want to in index under Campaign 1, and I want to add an additional tag, which is also in the system. Uh, and to create it, an additional tag on here, you just have to delimit it by a pipe symbol like this. Next tag that I'm going to add is called Tag 1. So the first property is only going to be tagged with Campaign 1, and the second property is going to have two tags added to it. I'm going to go ahead and save this as a CSV file and import this into the system. All right, from here, I'm going to click Choose File and import my file. Here's my two records that imported. If I go to Land Deals, you can see Jane Doe and John Doe have been added. Now, if I run my tag report again, under campaign one, you'll see it has a total of six records in there now, including the two that I just imported. Also, you'll notice if I run a tag report by the tag one example, that Jane Doe, the one record that I added uh, that tag to, shows up. You can run a report by tag under the report section. It's called properties by tag. And here, it'll show you how many records that are under a specific tag. If you click the number, it'll bring up the records that are indexed with that tag. Tags can be added to land deals, house deals, and your contacts under your buyers list. It works the exact same way under each tab. Under the Customize tab, under the Tag section, you can edit the tags that you have created. For example, if I change the name of a tag, and save that, then under the search by section, the tag name also changes and still pulls the records that have been assigned to it. Tags are also included when you export records. However, what is listed is the tag ID numbers. You can find what tag is associated with what ID number if you reference it under the customize, tag section. The IDs are listed on the left-hand side. 
Tags can also be deleted by clicking the edit option next to them and then clicking the delete option. Once you delete the tag, any property associated with that tag will lose its reference.